डी एस स्टूडेंट माइ सेल्फ सत्यजीत कंबे असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन फिजिक्स चांगू कर्ना ठाकुर कॉलेज आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड साइंस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी ऑल्टरनेटिंग करंट सर्किट्स इन ऑल्टरनेटिंग करंट सर्किट मोस्ट प्रॉबली वी आर गोइंग टू यूज ऑल्टरनेटिंग वोल्टेज एज यू नो दैट इन इंडिया वॉट एवर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वी आर जनरेटिंग इट इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ऑल्टरनेटिंग करंट इट इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ऑल्टरनेटिंग वोल्टेज एंड इन इंडिया इन इंडिया दैट ऑल्टरनेटिंग वोल्टेज इट एज अ फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ फिफ्टी हर्ड्स एंड इट एज अ वोल्टेज ऑफ टू थर्टी वोल्ट सो दीज आर द कॉन्फिग्रेशन वैल्यूज सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दीज वैल्यूज वोल्टेज इज टू थर्टी वोल्ट एंड फ्रिक्वेंसी इज फिफ्टी हर्ड्स नाउ ऑल्टरनेटिंग means fluctuating so this is the expression for alternating voltage v equal to v not sin omega t now in this expression there is a sign of an angle is present and as you know that if we change the time t then sign of an angle will fluctuate between 0 to 90 and accordingly your ac voltage is also going to fluctuate between positive value and negative value so in the graph here it is a graph of v versus t that is voltage versus time and here you can see that this voltage is fluctuating and this is called as complete cycle so this is one complete cycle of alternating voltage and during that one complete cycle the point where it reaches to the maximum value here you can see that v not that value that maximum value is called as peak value of current or maximum value of maximum value of voltage so in this case it is a voltage so it is a peak value of voltage or maximum value of voltage similarly alternating current is also fluctuating same type of ac uh, like ac voltage it is also fluctuating current so here this is a graph of current versus time it is also fluctuating between positive and negative value and the where a point where it reach, it reaches to the maximum value that point i not is called as maximum value or peak value of current now here you can see that alternating current is a sinusoidal current it has a positive half cycle as well as negative half cycle and therefore if we take the average value if we take the average value of this alternating current then average value of this alternating current over complete cycle is going to be zero because in this case positive half cycle and negative half cycle it will cancel each other okay so this is one of the important point average value of alternating current over complete cycle is zero now here as you know that there is a direct current in direct current this is the nature of the direct current in direct current there is no neg negative cycle and therefore direct current has some average value and as it has some average value this average value of direct current we can measure by using ammeter so here ammeter is a device which is used to measure current so using ammeter we can measure direct current because ammeter always measures average value of current but if we use this ammeter to measure alternating current then it is not possible because for alternating current as average value is zero using ammeter we cannot measure alternating current okay so using ammeter we cannot measure alternating current using ammeter we can only measure direct current value and therefore there is one important term that you should know that term is called as rms value of current rms stands for root mean square okay now this rms value is nothing but measured value of current okay so here there is a definition i have written rms value of current it is a that value of current which generates same amount of heat in same time when passed through the same resistor r as in the case of direct current okay so to understand this rms color in detail this is a diagram over here now in this diagram there is the resistance r and we are going to pass alternating current and direct current but before that for the measurement of alternating current we have to use such a property which does not depends upon direction of current because for alternating current direction is continuously changing and therefore using ammeter we cannot measure alternating current so for measurement of alternating current 
we have to use such a property which doesn't depends upon direction of current and that property is heating effect joule's law in the heating effect we have h equal to i square rt it means if we pass current i through a register r for time t then the quantity of heat generated in that register is i square rt so in this case we have a component i square and as you know that square of any value is always going to be a positive that means if we pass alternating current through the register r then using heating effect joule's law that quantity of heat is always going to be a positive value so we can use this property of heating effect for the measurement of alternating current and if we measure that alternating current by using the property of heating effect then that value is called as rms value now here you will come to know what is rms value exactly so here this is the alternating current that we have to measure this alternating current it has a peak value of i not so for this alternating current its peak value is i not and we have to measure this peak value i not for that we have to take some resistance r and you have to pass that alternating current through the resistor r for time t and you have to measure amount of heat generated in that resistor okay now we have this value of quantity heat generated in the resistor r for time t by passing this alternating current of peak value i not now further you have to take same resistance r now by taking same resistance r this time you have to pass direct current now here direct current we can measure using ammeter now in this case you have to adjust the magnitude you have to adjust the magnitude of the direct current in such a way that that direct current should generate same amount of heat in same time as in the case of alternating current okay now that magnitude of the direct current which is generating same amount of heat in same time when passed through the same resistance r as in the case of alternating current that value of direct current is called as rms value okay so what is rms value rms value is that value of direct current which generates same amount of heat in same time t when passed through the same resistance r as in the case of alternating current and experimentally it is observed that alternating current of peak value i not and direct current of value i not upon root 2 okay alternating current of peak value i not and direct current of value i not upon root 2 generates same amount of heat in same time when passed through the same resistance r and therefore this i not upon root 2 this value is called as rms value of current so this is the expression for rms value so rms value of alternating current equation is i not upon root 2 similarly we can write rms value of voltage as v rms and it is equal to v not upon root 2 so in this way today we have learned what is alternating current what is alternating voltage and how to measure alternating current and to measure the alternating current the term which we are using called as rms value thank you